All right, guys, it's Jonesy over here, Custom Kids Cars. And if you guys have been watching the updates on this project, here is, uh, I guess, be update number four. Uh, we've got the winch mechanically all working. We've got the brand new high speed for Gelly. When your actuator's in, uh, it works beautifully. And what we've been doing burning the midnight oil yesterday because we've got snow here in Michigan is we actually have most of the electronics in not the lights but um, if we get one more fitting we will actually have four-wheel drive so what we've got under the cargo cover here is a East Coast power-ups electronic speed controller kit this is the controller this is a junction block got circuit breaker here and we've actually stuffed uh, two 12 volt 18 amp hour batteries underneath the seats uh, this is just a great uh, vehicle because there's tons of room to put all your components um, and since this update really is going to be focused on the winch, uh, what we've got here is we've got the controls for the winch, and these are going to be for the lights. We don't have any lights wired up other than the brake lights, and that's it. So we utilize the stock key, so you turn that on, and now we've got power. And we made this one a paddle. So it goes up with up, down with down, and then this double, double pull, double throw rocker uh, does the V action. So if we do them both, he's ready to plow. Now, a plow truck pretty much has to be four wheel drive, right? Well, we've got 18 volt Bane bots wired up front. And we've got a variable speed throttle. So when you hit the gas, we've got front wheel drive. Now the back, we ran out of um, electrical connectors. We actually need one of those four-way splitters. Yeah, so we gotta get to the hardware store. So some of the cool things that we do because custom kids car, cars goes over the top. We got rid of the big bulky shifter and we just put in this uh, toggle. So go down for reverse. So we've got a backup beeper. So it's in reverse. You hit the gas pedal. Got reverse. So people don't get squished and ran over. Put it back and forward here. Uh, in update three, I have some video footage of us doing the rear lights. We got rid of these janky little cheap, uh, these are the stock lenses. They just would have been a real pain in the butt. I explained it and everything. So um, we got these at Harbor Freight and we changed the gas pedal into the brake pedal. So when you hit the brake, it's got tail lights. And then the lower ones will be running lights. So once we get our fittings later today, we will have this thing ready to rock and roll. And that's what it looks like with the bonnet back on there. Now, since this is a work truck, we're going to have all kinds of ambers. Um, we're actually going to custom build a, a aluminum headache rack and that's where this amber flasher is going to be uh, this is the flasher controller right here it's got three different modes so um, these are some of the other ambers kind of going to save that for that video but we're going to do some over the top crazy lighting where you're going to say how the heck did he do that um, these cab running lights, those are only 
I think five volts. So if we try to hook 12 volts up, we'd smoke those. So we got to take that all apart and switch those over. We're probably going to just keep those as running lights. We're not going to put those on the flashers. But we're going to do some flashers. We got grill area. We've got uh, headlight buckets. So uh, be prepared for that. It's going to be pretty sweet. And since this is a big Cummins diesel, uh, we needed a charge port for that 24 volts. So what we did is we took a Power Wheels Jeep uh, gas cap cover and that's where we have the charge port. It's just mocked up right now um, just because we're going to have to take this all apart. We're probably going to paint that black. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do because um, that's the last stage. We're going to hydro dip the wheels. Um, we're going to do some cool graphics and these are going to turn into rear flashers. I'm sorry, reverse, uh, reverse lights. So when it's in reverse with the beep it's going to have those light up. These right here, I'm going to have to figure out something. But uh, the biggest thing was a working V-plow on a Power Wheels. And how that stops is it's got a, a switch built into it. So all it is is he just hits up to go up. And then it stops when it hits its limit. So that's the biggest one right there, guys. Working V-plow. Uh, stay tuned. We got some other crazy stuff we're going to add to this build. So um, if you guys like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share the heck out of this thing so we can get, uh, get this out to uh, the general public because I think we're pretty proud of what we do and it's pretty unique. So till next time, thanks for watching.